we haven't really thought about our genetic compatibility other than wondering if we might be related distantly. Hopefully that's not the case. <laughs> I'm Lissy. I'm Shay. Uh, we've been together for, it'll be three and a half years in February. Hi, I'm Chance. I'm Lauren, and we've been together for five-ish years. Yes, yeah, so we got engaged a month ago. I was really <laughs> surprised when he asked. There was no, no nerves whatsoever until three seconds before my knee hit the ground, and then I just all of a sudden couldn't even breathe. I think your voice cracked and like you said something nice and I was like, Ugh. but he got enough out that I was like, yes. We met in college in an acting class and we were friends at that point. Lucy loves very hard. She's never hesitant to give support and to give love and that's, you know, that's amazing. He's very patient with things that like I get really anxious about. Um, so it really balances me out. He always makes me laugh. She's very resilient and really focused, and she helps me with staying focused. Chance is very transparent about who he is, and I think he just also is really good at listening to other people and meeting them where they are. <laughs> what if it's like 12? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, that's pretty good. 70%. 70%. I also got 70%. Hot dog. Overall compatibility, 77%. Okay, great. So we got 75% biocompatibility, which would make for decent kids. Yeah. <laughs> Decently strong. Well, we've got 76% for biocompatibility. Our child is gonna have a pretty big butt. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have really big butts. Yeah. And then neurocompatibility is 92. It says we have a unique combination of physical attraction and psychological compatibility, so that's good. Neurocompatibility, 84%, which is above average. This is interesting. So dopamine, as a couple, one of us carry the explorer version while the other person does not, but that's a 100% ideal match. It says we're both more level-headed than the average couple. It uh, identifies us both as builders. Hmm. Interesting. As a couple, both of us have similar moderate responses to emotional changes. Well, we both received practical on serotonin. Yes. 100% match, that's pretty neat. I guess we're both practical, but about different things. Yeah. Do you think that's funny? No. <laughs> I think you generally have moderate responses to emotional changes. I think it depends on what it is. <laughs> As a couple, it may be more challenging for you to interpret each other's emotions. I think that's true. It labeled you as a listener and me as thinker. Definitely think that's true. Uh, we both have a good ability to interpret the other's personal emotions. Even if you're not saying what I want to hear, I've gotten better at being like, that's okay, I'm gonna keep listening because there's value in, in what you're saying. I think this is pretty accurate. I don't think it really changes anything for us. It probably just gives us more to talk about, yeah. <laughs> explore. It's certainly a helpful tool. I think I was preparing to find out that <laughs> you know, we were second cousins or something crazy. So I feel good about it, yeah. Definitely still getting married. 77% is good. I'm glad that, Yeah. I don't know, that sounds like a good number. Three out of four? The out of four is a good, good odds. The neurocompatibility one is really interesting because I didn't realize that that was even like a factor that I could take yeah. in. It said dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin were all like 100% like well matched that in that sense. category, which is super interesting. And isn't isn't serotonin what makes you happy? The happy molecule in your brain? We're 100% yeah. matched for happiness. Good job, proud of you. So bad cake.